Bonjour, bonjour, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, I want to show you three different ways, almost four actually, to show you how to mat down your crazy greasy sunscreen. So first of all is why choose a greasy sunscreen when they are uh, so much, I would say, option in the market. One of the reasons is because some of those very greasy sunscreen, you do know that they have a super high UVA protection factors. And from time to time, so I'm thinking when you are exposed to a lot of sun, so basically when you spend all day long outside, this is what you want. You want to have, like I would say, the maximum uh, protection and most of the time it goes with a more uh, greasier feeling. It can also help if you have oily skin type, obviously you will have, uh, you will want to mattify it like uh, crazy. So I'm going to demonstrate those three different ways uh, using this bad boy right here, which is a new sunscreen from the French brand Bioderma. And this is the family Milk SPF 50 plus. If you want to know about uh, all the goodness inside, basically the filters, I invite you to go and watch my videos of the review of this one. The protection is simply outstanding and it has a UVA protection. They call it the in vivo. So I guess this is using the PPD methods invented actually by um, the Japanese and it is a UVA protection of 40. So super high SPF with a super high UVA protection, which is what you want when you are on vacation. The problem of this one is that it is quite greasy. So I have found three different ways on how to help to make those type of sunscreen uh, works. So the first method that is not going to be a surprise for you is by simply using a powder. I have uh, two powder to show you, but you don't have necessarily to use those two. So the first one is this one. This is the perfect setting powder from uh, Cover FX. What I like about this one is that it is mattifying, but not too, too um, trying. I have another one that is extremely mattifying and also uh, pretty drying, but very inexpensive is from the Korean brand Innisfree. This is the no sebum mineral powder. And I think that now that they also have um, a formula that is also pig uh, pigmented because this one is 100% uh, clear, but this one is extremely uh, mattifying. So definitely, if you live in a humid country and you really don't like the shine, or simply you have super holy skin, this is the one to consider. Of course, something that is so, so important is that when you apply your sunscreen, you need to wait a solid uh, 15 minutes to let some of the solvent to evaporate and to let the sunscreen set. Once it is set, this is the moment that you can uh, use one of those methods. So here to apply the powder. Again, something important to, to do is to not uh, doing a sweeping motion, but to dab on the powder to not disturb the layer of um, sunscreen. The second method is by using makeup in the form of a foundation and to apply fun foundation on top of the sunscreen. And if you choose to do this same method with the powder, you wait those 10 to 15 minutes to let the sunscreen set. And then you are going to apply the sunscreen with a dabbing motion. So you can use your fingers or my favorite methods is to use one of those cushion puff and to simply dab it all over your face. If you don't want to set it with powder, you will have a more I would say normal finish. It obviously depends on the formula. If you use a super matte uh, foundation, it's definitely going to help. The one that I show you and where you see the demonstration is from and it's the new one from Shiseido. This is the Synchro Skin Self uh, Refreshing Foundation. This one is actually excellent. And it works quite, like I said, with the cushion foundation. I've tried it on many uh, sunscreen and it works in with basically almost all sunscreen. What I love, what I like also about this one is that it is uh, fragrance free. Obviously, you can also use powder on top to mattify it. So the third method, uh, and this one I really like it, is to simply use another sunscreen on top, but this one will be a mattifying sunscreen where you are not sure that it is um, 
uh, in terms of UVA protection as high as the first one. And the combination of today that you are seeing is the one from Border Bioderma, so the family milk. So you apply one fourth of a teaspoon all over your face. You then wait uh, 15 minutes and then you are going to apply a decent amount of another sunscreen and the mattifying sunscreen that I have here, either one from the Japanese brand Anessa. This is the perfect UV sunscreen skincare milk. Obviously, on top of it, you can also use a powder or even foundation plus powder if you want it. It actually works because this one is an excellent primer. The only thing is that because this one is Japanese, I can guarantee you that UVA protection is of 16 or maybe above, but I don't know how much, but with this one, I am sure that it is a protection of um, 14. A good tip so that you have just seen is that once the sunscreen is set, is to use a tissue and to simply blot your face to absorb the extra greasy layer and then top it top it with uh, this other mattifying uh, sunscreen to ensure that you do have an even protection, but again, don't drag anything on uh, your skin. So tell me if you have found those tips helpful, definitely when you will know that you will be exposed to sunscreen, try to not compromise too much and choose one of those hardcore uh, sunscreen. It, it is important for the health of your skin and also just in terms of anti-aging. In 10 and 15 years, you will thank me. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I have a lot of stuff over there and I thank you so, so much for watching me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.